Hey folks, my name's Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of St. Margaret of Scotland that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Gwe. I don't know, but I suspect there's a few people out there that have decided for themselves on this New Year's Day that there's, they're going to make some changes. I have. I have. There's some things in my life that I need to let go of in order to embrace some possibilities that are standing there in front of me, some opportunities that are, that are staring back at me. And I know that in order to take on that, those new things, in order to become that person, I need to let go of some stuff. I don't know why this is the time of year that we, that we think along these lines. Perhaps it's training. Perhaps it's because January is named after a Roman god of new beginnings. I don't know. But I suspect if you're not thinking about making a change, you know people that are. And that's why I'm doing this video. Not because I want to help you make the change, though if I can, I'm happy to do so. But because you have friends and family out there that are seeking to grow. And they might be seeking to grow in ways that you don't understand. Perhaps they're seeking to grow in ways that you're not confident they're going to be able to achieve. Be there for them anyway. There's a passage of scripture in Galatians, the sixth chapter, verse 2. Now, if you've never read Galatians, I would really encourage you to read the entire book, the entire letter. Um, it's amazing. It's filled with love, and it's filled with grace, and it is filled with possibilities of who the church may become, what the church may become. Chapter 6, verse 2 says, Bear one another's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. There's a group that I grew up around, a very important group. I believe they made me inadvertently and passively into the person that I am today. It took a long time to get there, and I'm hopefully we're still growing, but the group is Alcoholics Anonymous. I grew up around Alcoholics Anonymous, happily so. I have family members who, who have been participants in the program who are members of that community. And the thing that I've learned about Alcoholics Anonymous over my time with them is that there's a, 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 an, unspoken, an unspoken motto. You're not in this alone. We're with you. It's, I think, the exact reason why it actually works is because there's a, an entire group of people who are all who are all listening to Paul's words to the Galatians. Bear one another's burdens. And in this way, you'll be fulfilling the law of Christ. It's a group of people who are all trying to be there for each other, who are all trying to lift one another up, who are all trying to support one another, who are all trying to affirm and validate one another, who are all saying the same thing. You are not in this alone. I'm here for you. As others are here for me, I am here for you. As others bear my burdens, I will bear yours. And in this way, the law of Christ will be fulfilled. The law of love will be fulfilled. In this way, we will create a community of love. And in this way, we will create a community of support. And in this way, we will create a community of life. Bear one another's burdens. And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. So during this season, we have all kinds of people who are hoping to make some changes. Some minor, some major, some realistic, some seemingly impossible. Be there for them. Encourage them. Support them where and when you are able. There's no guilt. There's no shame. There's no I told you so's. There is only love and positivity. 
when things take a turn in the opposite direction, be there to encourage them to, to pick up their goals again. When things seem far off, be there to encourage them, to carry them if need be. Be a source of light. Be a source of life. Be the eternal optimist. They probably aren't able to be for themselves. Bear their burdens when they're unable to bear them themselves. Be the friend that they need you to be. Be the family member they need you to be. Become, allow yourself to become a part of their successes. Be the cheerleader that they hope to have in their corner. This model of, of gathering, this model of living that I think AA embodies so well is what I think the church could be. A group of people who gather together in support of one another, encouraging one another, lifting each other up, helping one another see the possibilities of the future, the opportunities that are in front of us. So as this new year unfolds, let us be the champions of our friends and families who are seeking to make change, who are seeking to, to transform their lives, who are seeking to, to grow and, and to take advantage of the opportunities that are in front of them, the possibilities that are present to them. Let's take up our place in their corner. Let's pick up our pom-poms and be their biggest and best cheerleaders. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that as we ourselves look for change and look for opportunities to grow, we will help our friends and neighbors, our family members do the same. That we will indeed pick up their burdens and fulfill the law of Christ. That we will carry them, that we will support them, that we will encourage them, and that we will fulfill the law of Christ that asks us to love them as we love ourselves. Amen. Numultus.